How you doing? Welcome to English 101. I'm so excited that you're taking this course, whether you're taking it face to face or you're doing it online. Um, I'm excited that you're in this class. I think English 101 is a really important class. Uh, you may not feel the same way, especially if you're not a big fan of English. But in this class, um, you're going to be writing a lot of essays. But the important part isn't that you write essays. It's the thinking, it's the reading, it's the, the prep work that goes into it. That's what I really want you to get out of this class. So what does it look like? It looks like uh, you're going to do some, you know, quizzes and assignments and, you know, stuff like that. But most importantly, you're going to need to spend some time reading uh, really carefully thinking, coming up with uh, some important original thoughts, and then you express yourself through writing. So we do talk a lot about writing, but this is really about the thinking that leads to the writing. So we're going to make sure that um, everything is thoughtful and intentional. All right. So I want to um, explain kind of how this course works. All right, so if you're taking this online through Canvas, then what you'll see as you open it up is um, there's going to be inside Canvas a, a, a bunch of modules. There's going to be units and underneath units, lessons. So it's going to go something a little bit like this. There's a total of five units throughout this uh, entire course, and there are nine lessons for each unit. Um, that's equivalent to basically how many hours you would spend in a, in a regular full-length class is, uh, is about that, about 45 lessons. Um, anyway, something like that. So uh, what are you going to be doing? Well, as you open up a unit, it's going to kind of give you an overview for what you're going to learn um, throughout that unit. The first unit, for example, is grammar and punctuation. And so it's kind of reviewing and recapping uh, what standard English, what standard written English is. We go through parts of speech, how sentences work, and ultimately lead up to, um, you know, how to fix mistakes in your writing. And there's some updates to the course where we talk about AI and how that fits into this whole thing. So we're going to be talking about all that. At the end, at the end of each lesson, it's going to ask you to answer a question or to do a short quiz. In some cases, you'll be working on some of the parts of an essay. And so it's uh, because that process is important, that order is important, it's not going to let you skip ahead for assignments. So you have to complete what's going on in a lesson, including whatever assignment is with that lesson, before you can move on to the next lesson. Okay. Um, that way we don't have people turning in a final draft before they've turned in their rough draft. Things get out of order. Um, ultimately, this, this helps to ensure you have a good grade. You get credit for all the parts and pieces, and that's, that's why I set it up this way. Um, if you're taking this as a, a summer course, we have the entire class to complete in five weeks, and it can feel kind of intense, and it, it can be, but it's certainly not too difficult for you to do. So even though there's going to be a short little activity at the end of each lesson, and there's nine lessons uh, per unit, and you need to complete one unit per week, um, none of the lessons are meant to take too long in and of themselves. When we get later into the semester and you're writing your essays, uh, that's going to take some more time. Um, but most, most lessons, there might be some videos for you to watch, some things for you to read, and then uh, a, a quiz. Most of the quizzes don't have more than five questions. There's like one exception so far. Um, but that's it. You're going to answer some questions. And the good thing is you can take the quizzes as many times as you want. Because I, uh, I just want to make sure that you know the answers, right? The quizzes aren't a huge part of your grade. The majority of your grade are the final drafts of your essays. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. Starting in Unit 3 which if you're doing a summer class is week three of the class. Starting unit three, you'll be writing a series of three essays. Essay one is a reader response essay. Essay two 
is a rhetorical analysis essay, and essay three is an argumentative essay. Um, each of those essays, the lessons will teach you how to do it. Um, there'll be examples and models, and, and uh, I don't expect you to already know how to do all these things, right? But they each teach something a little bit different. So even though you're doing three essays, they're not trying to accomplish the same thing. They're each doing something different. Um, and uh, you're going to have a series of steps to complete each of them. You'll need to take notes on your source material for your essay. You'll need to write an outline, a rough draft, and then ultimately a final draft. Now, because it's a summer course, all that happens really, really fast. In general, I want you to get your notes done on Monday, outline on Tuesday, rough draft turned on Wednesday, and then your final draft on Friday. That gives me time to look at your rough draft and respond before you turn in your final draft, basically. That's why it's set up that way. Um, and then you'll do that weeks three, four, and five, or units three, four, and five. I'm doing a lot of rewriting and revamping of this course right now. Um, so I hope pretty early in the course that all of the content is in there and updated. So maybe not right at first, but by the end of the semester, you can actually work ahead of the week that you're in. So if you want to honestly finish the class early, you can. The, the only problem is I won't be able to respond to you uh, as quickly. Is it, does that make sense? Um, so for example, if you don't wait between your rough and your final drafts of an essay and you just move ahead, um, you just won't get my feedback before you do that, that's all. Because uh, I just need time to grade everything that's going on. But it's okay, I'm okay if you work ahead. Um, but if things aren't quite ready, you might hit um, a date deadline where uh, where some things aren't available yet and then you just need to wait before I can update. Because I'm re-recording a, a lot of videos and a lot of teaching elements to, to make this as engaging and interactive as possible. So anyway, that's, that's kind of my goal. Let's talk a little bit about late work. Uh, what if you're late for an assignment? Well, it's, um, I do have due dates um, throughout the course and some of them may seem really intense. That's because I don't want you to fall behind the pace of the class. If you get behind on your assignments, it's, it's just going to add more work in a shorter period of time later. Um, I do want you to finish. I don't want you to be more than a week behind if you're taking this as a summer, summer class. So, for example, all the week one stuff, make sure you're done by week two and then it should be fine. Um, it's going to be a problem other, otherwise. But if you run into an issue, you can always message me and we can talk about it. And uh, we can figure out how to, uh, to help you get things done. Because everything happens so quickly, I don't want anyone falling behind, basically. Okay, so um, in the, the, the first module of the class called Welcome to English 101, um, you'll see this video. I'll, I'll have a video introducing myself. You'll see a page where it outlines all of the assignments and all the due dates for the entire semester, and there's links. Those links won't let you get to assignments that you aren't ready for yet, but you'll be able to see everything. Um, there's some Q&A, there's some links for resources, and then you get into the units and the lessons. So um, at the start of each unit, there will also be kind of a schedule for all the assignments in that unit. Uh, unit one has the pretest. The pretest is really important. I have another video explaining that when you get to it. Um, let's talk about attendance. Okay, so with an online class, attendance is a little bit weird, right? Basically, you need to be logging in consistently and you need to be completing work to count as attending in the class. Um, during the first week of class, you need to log in and you need to complete something. Um, even if you fall behind, you need to get the pretest done, for example. Um, if you don't log in uh, that first week, you will be dropped from the class and uh, you'll just need to do it at a different time, basically. 
Um, at the end of each week, I do take attendance. And if you haven't logged in and completed work and made some progress, uh, you will be marked absent. And if you do that uh, for three consecutive weeks, you may be dropped from the course. So it's, it's important that, that you log in and you complete work. Um, yeah, so those, those are the more important things. Um, for more specifics on how things are working, uh, you can click on the syllabus tab inside Canvas and it has all the rules and explanations as links to assignments, a lot of great information in there. But I'm just excited. I know this was a lot and probably confusing and out of order. I keep looking over at the screen where I have Canvas open. But um, I'm excited to have you in class. Uh, the first thing you need to do is send me a message through Canvas. Uh, that just lets me know that you know how to get a hold of me and we can, uh, we can talk through email if you have questions. So um, I look forward to having you in class and uh, look forward to hearing from you.